the I Ching for this week. This week we talk about being separate and doing your work on your own and feeling the energy to do it, to come forward. And the I Ching gives us instructions on how to come through it and to find these times beneficial. So listen with an open heart and an open ear as we go into this week's I Ching. The haiku for this week. The little bee stings. Now, I know springtime is here. Thank you, little bee. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, we get wake-up calls in all kinds of ways, huh? Didn't need an alarm clock to tell us it's spring. That little bee, man, that came and zapped you, huh? It's okay. It's okay. So we come to this week's section, this week's Qua, from the Oracle. 3,000 years of wisdom from the time of Confucius comes to us. And I threw the coins, and what we come up with is number 12, Pai, being separate and decline. No worry. Above, it's heaven, and an earth, and below is the center of the earth. The wisdom says, in times of discontent, self-sustenance and humility are advantageous. You have no influence. Yeah, man, there's times when you're not listened to. You don't have influence, so you pull back. You know, you know when that time is, and you don't push it, man. You don't push the river. Not that time. You see... When you're consulting the I Ching, you don't look to the past. You remain in the present. This reading is not for what's coming, not for what has recently transpired. This reading applies to the now. You know, it's not yesterday or even a few minutes ago as, as the days and the cycle unfolds. It's only the now that exists. On your chosen path, toward accomplishing what it is that you want, your goals and your desires. You've come to obstacles. It happens like that. And the correct action now is to stop. Stop. The advantage at this turn of the great wheel is to hold still and to look only to yourself for wisdom, only to yourself for sustenance and comfort and compassion. You've got it. And you can give it to yourself and you are the one, you are the master at this time of your path and of your knowing. Obstruction has come on suddenly. And that has not been a gradual slowing down. You know how it was, man, you got whacked. So you get reactive. You know, you feel like you've been attacked. So you feel like you've got to, you know, you've done your work and you say, okay, man, I'm going to, I'm going to, hit this obstacle head on. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to confront whoever it is or whatever it is. Oh, well, man, this is not the time. You know, those there are times for that, but this is not the appropriate action at this time. The work, capital W, it will be accomplished by looking within for the sustenance, looking within for the energy that you need to maintain your psychological, your emotional, your spiritual equilibrium. And this is what is important now. You see, it's not to go to battle, but to move to sacred stillness. To be directed to come to a full stop arrives when it is time for introspection. And this is the time. You see, it's an opportunity to move away from the noise, to move away from the angst that has been generated when you've reached out for gain, for place, for understanding and love. From here, the benefit is to move into the silence of your sacred internal space, finding silence. You know, it's here in stillness that where recreation will occur, where you recreate, where the old patterns 
you know, you change yourself and leave the old patterns behind. At a point like this, when you stop to go inward and feel alone, which we do sometimes, out from behind the curtain may come offers of bartered love, you know, that kind of love that says, hey, listen, I'm going to love you if you give me this. I'm going to love you if you do this. And you don't want bartered love. That's not going to work. It doesn't last. Or it might be they'll say, yeah, you're going to have great growth. And you're going to come to a new spiritual awakening. And there's not much work. You get money without much work. Man, watch out. That's a trick. And watch out because at a time like this, when you go quiet and you go for introspection, you're vulnerable, right? And this is why we're telling you to stop. That's what the Ching is saying. So you consider joining with those people who come to you because, you know, it might make the road easier and you won't be so lonely. As they speak of riches and being honored and heard, it's false, man. It's a trick of the ego. You know, should you join with this milieu, this action, you'd be taken into the game of who's coming towards you. And it's a game. Don't doubt that. And it's not a benefit. It's not a path of honor. You know, you don't get things without work. I mean, that's the way that it is. There ain't no free lunch. If you're able to ask them, why do you behave in such a manner? The answer would be shocking, and you would hear it. In one way or another, they would say, oh, because I can. Ouch. Note well. They are in their own game. And leave it to them, for were you to join with them, even in cordiality, you would be destined to fail and destined to fall. You're advised now to continue what you know is the correct way. And in that knowing is how you find your benefit, right? Knowing that obstacles such as the ones that you've encountered, they're temporary. They'll soon fade. That's why you come to a stop. That's where you come to recreate. That's where you come to to care yourself, to celebrate, to be in solitude, to meditate, to be quiet, and find a sacred place to go to be quiet if you can. And maybe you time you go into retreat. And then when you come out of retreat and make your moves of correctness, you will have a newfound strength of purpose. Do nothing now other than making these Moments of full stop useful. This period of stillness and retreat will allow you to access what you've learned, what you've studied, what you've embraced, what you've gained. It is in you. All these things that are necessary at this moment in time are within you and they're just waiting to be accessed. It's in that storehouse of the soul, right? Just waiting. Relationships and associations can be challenging during this cycle. The benefit now will be to not engage in any conflict, any battles or arguments. Stay out of it. There would be no beneficial outcome. And you could destroy what will, in the new future, create benefit, right? If you get into that fight, you know, and say, I'm going to throw this away, I'm going to get rid of you, I'm going to leave, whatever it is, this is not the time. It is not your benefit to do that. You know, don't destroy what you've worked for. You just have to back off for a bit. As you make your way to your personal goals, these are the times when you come across some dark souls. And you look at these dark souls, and what are, what are they? They're a reflection of your shadow. They're a reflection of that of you, of people, yourself. These people ha- have little humility or integrity, but they can be seductive. You know they're not your soul tribe, and guess that maybe they could be useful, maybe they could help me. Be cautious about with whom you associate at this moment in time. Limit your social intercourse to where you feel trust, where you feel love. 
where you feel good. If you try in this challenging time to engage outside your trusted circle, you will be met with misunderstanding and discord. Dig it. Go into retreat mode with an open heart and lay back. (laughs) You know, find the hammock. There will be temptations to use your energy because it's strong and your ideas and your creativity to assist a person or a project or a commercial enterprise that has been languishing and is in difficult straits. You see, it's tempting because the ideal of what you could accomplish is stirring your passion. And you know you can do it, but now be cautious. Be cautious. Consider this well as... This may well be a seduction, likely. A move to rob you of a rarefied moment when you assert and find confidence in your self-reliance. Your self-reliance, your self-confidence, and your inner strength. To venture into what is on offer at this moment would be folly. And all the effort, all the time, all the love, and all the resources you might throw at it, they'd vanish. And it wouldn't be recovered. It would be just like a sinkhole for your faith, for your heart, for your money, for your soul, for your ego. The ego would say that you've done so much good work and you've made so many advances. So why not take your gifts or ideas into situations that are in front of you, shining, shining like empty golden banners in the wind? It must be fate or destiny, says the ego. At this moment in time, This is not an activation of truth. It is not fate, the stuff that's coming. Right now, it's not your destiny. It's a trick of the ego that wants to make you join in. You see, when you're shown opportunities like this, they look wonderful and they seem to be right within your grasp. Things like love and fame and power. Ooh, yeah. Don't be fooled. It won't work in this current cycle. You know, when the I Ching talks, it doesn't talk forever. It doesn't talk for a thousand years behind us, before us, tomorrow, last night. It talks about right now and right now. If something comes up that shows I'm going to bring you love, I'm going to bring you fame, I'm going to bring you power, do not be fooled because it ain't going to work. It's not going to work in this current cycle. Instead, stop and in this pause, for dig it, it's only a pause. Make this time pleasant. Focus on being good to yourself. Take care of yourself. This particular cycle, it's short-lived. When you go through something like this, it doesn't last long. Look carefully at all the offers now that come your way. Do not act on them. Do not accept them at face value. Contemplate all sides and wait in stillness for the truth to be revealed, because it will, right? When you come to a time like this, when you are, you know, you you put out a shining light and you're bringing stuff to you, you know, the moth to the flame, and you get people are coming to you, ideas are coming to you and all that right now. You know, just wait in stillness, contemplate it all. Don't sign a contract. You know, don't make a deal. Don't, 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 propose. (laughs) This is not the time. Just wait in stillness for a bit and the truth will be revealed. You know, right now as you find interference in trying to get things done or trying to have your mate or your tribe or your associates understand you, you can see clearly what's right. And you say, why can't they see it too? Don't try to figure it out because the why doesn't matter. It's just is that you are not being heard, and that happens sometimes. It is an opportunity for you to stop, and now they're saying it again. Stop, because if you refuse, you could bring danger. Danger even on the physical plane and on a deep emotional level where you are so vulnerable uh, vulnerable at this moment as you've been working hard in these areas to find your balance. At this moment in time, there is no book. 
There is no person, there is no guru, there is no shaman, there is no cleanse, there is no process that will aid you at this point. So don't waste your precious energy, your precious money, your precious time running this way and that to try to make it work. Because when you're met with an obstacle now, consider all aspects, both sides of the coin, and stop in contemplation and do not fear the darkness. Don't fear the darkness of this cycle. The darkness, which is in the natural order of things, will pass. And you'll be left with a clarity that will give you confidence and give you strength. Decisions. Decisions you make and the actions you do when you move out of your stillness will lead to a time of great progress. Right. So... When you've considered all this and you really, you know, you you got to say no to stuff that's coming towards you. And if you do, you just go into contemplation and you're not losing anything, right? You're coming to a time when you've made these decisions to be still. And now when you come out of stillness, you're going to come to a time of great progress, of abundance and of fulfillment. Fulfillment is close, very close. But if you don't pull up on the reins now, you would cloud your vision and diminish the energy necessary to receive and embrace the gifts that are hidden. Walk into the mystery with no fear. For it is a mystery, and in the mystery is the alchemy of life. If you were to ignore all this advice and proceed, What you would create in this cycle would be lacking the true essence of you, your highest good. No matter how good and forward-thinking it may be, it will be overlooked and ignored. The appropriate conduct at this time consists of strengthening your resolve to be the best person you possibly can be, being morally and ethically strong in times of obstruction. This is what will serve you at this time. The grand elixir now is to act with dignity, integrity, kindness, and compassion. Yeah. Go within these days as you move where the work that must be done is done and know that anything new or that which looks like it would achieve glory or riches has got to be put on temporary hold while you regenerate yourself and while you activate free will. During these times of obstructions, things will be of great benefit. They are to play, to love, to have fun, and be fully in joyous celebration. Now we say to be in full stop, that does not mean not to have fun. You know that phrase, dance like you do and like no one's watching. Yeah, so now have an open heart and be in the love that you wish to bring to you. This cycle of obstruction will pass. So consider that you walk with peace in every step, as old Thig Nhat Hanh says. We used to say, make love, not war. And that's the time right now. Make love, not war. Well, I wish you a blessed week. It feels complicated, I know. But it's a week of really taking care of yourself. And and that darkness that's around, this shadow, it'll pass. It'll pass if you come to your stillness, you come to your center, you come to being who you are. In the remembering of who you are, that's enlightenment. Right? That remembering who you are. So be the love that you desire and teach peace. Listen to the children. The children are wise right now. Listen to them. Listen to the wind. Hear the song of the wind. If you're near flowing water, go to listen. What does the flowing water say? What is it? Well, those bubbles and gurgles, what are their words, really? Listen to them and translate it. If you're near the sea, hear the sea. 
as she laps up on the shore. So act with integrity and be yourself. Always be yourself. I am the other you. And I like it that way. <laughs> yes, I do. In Lakesh, y'all. And namaste, namaste, my brothers. You be good to yourself. You be strong. You protect the solitude of your loved ones. And goddesses. Treat yourself with honor, and you will be honored. I send you all the love I can possibly muster here at the 20th Parallel. Namaste, y'all. Namaste. coming up as a podcast on Spotify. So listen for that. And the new Earth I Ching is coming up. The book. I love you. Thank you, listeners. I do love you.